Hello, and welcome to another iClone 7 Academy tutorial. Today's topic will be animating depth of field parameters. As you can see, everything in green text is animatable, so you have quite a few parameters to be able to animate. However, we'll just focus on focus distance and perfect focus range. Pun intended. Now, we'll guide the viewer via focus to tell a little story. So let's do that. Let's bring up the timeline here by pressing F3 and if you don't see your camera you can either select your camera here and have this little button activated so it will bring whatever's active and it related uh, track uh, object track related and um, and then go to the subtrack and bring depth of field however if you didn't have this selected for example and it was blank here you can always go into this menu over there stow up uh, this uh, little props so if you have too many props go for camera this one particular camera is called depth of field animation yours probably is called just camera and this will bring the menu up and then just go to the sub track and just select depth of field and that's all there is to it so now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and uh, select this key here and we're going to do Control c to copy it and uh, or if you want you can actually copy it uh, by clicking on this little icon over here and go copy and now we just copy that uh, keyframe and now we're going to scrap through the animation here until there is a little character that starts to pop up in the in view which is our little raptoid and there he comes in so before he comes in i want to keep this uh our parameters at the exact same um, uh, this with this with the exact exact same values on the slider. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click over here and paste. So uh, make sure that you have the track selected. And there we go. All right, paste or double click. And uh, now we're going to scrap a little bit further in. And when we get to about here. We're going to go pick target and keep the focus on the raptoid now. Notice how the foreground image, now the helmet, is out of focus. Now, if you're not sure again how much you uh, your values are, are happening, especially from, from this kind of angle, you can, you can always go to the view depth of field regions so you can see a little bit better what's going on. Everything is in red, of course, is in focus, and that's your depth of field area. And everything else, uh, the green is the far out of focus or blur, or and the blue is the near blur. And the, everything in between is the transitions. Remember, transition regions, like we talked in the first tutorial. So let's go ahead and uh, keep it in this mode because it's a lot easier to view it. I'm just going to uh, zoom in and out into this track to be able to see better what's going on on the timeline. So... Uh, you notice as, as we scrap forward, the raptor starts to get out of focus. So let's go ahead and keep him in fo focus by uh, uh, moving forward a few frames and then picking target and selecting the raptors once more there. So that as he moves, he always pretty much stays in focus from this point on. So let's keep moving a few more frames forward. And uh, as, remember, as you move further, or as, the, as your subject moves further away from the camera, your focus range actually gets deeper. And by deeper, I mean uh, wider. So let's go ahead and play with, the, play with the perfect focus range and make it a little bit longer. See how we're expanding there a little bit? Like so. So we got there. So from here to there. There we go. And now we're going to go a few frames forward again and make sure that he stays in focus. So let's go ahead and click on him once more. Let's extend a little bit more the perfect focus range because it's further away. And let's keep the blur the same here. That's okay. If you want to be more accurate, you, you can always play with the near blur a little bit more and separate 
the parameters so you can go uh, a little bit more for the near blur and a little bit less for the far blur so it's completely up to you right now we'll just keep with these two parameters for now keep it simple now again we're going to move a few frames forward and keep him in focus again like so and uh, once more we'll scrap through forward oh we forgot to expand a little bit more that uh, perfect focus range all right just to keep it a little more realistic and now let's go all the way to the end frame and go ahead and keep him in perfect focus again and there we go i think we're pretty much done there now let's go ahead and turn off the visualizer or or field of view region view and uh let's go ahead and play it through and see what we got so we start with the helmet in focus and then we see the raptor going to attack but in reality it doesn't attack it's just a friend and the end and that's how we guided the viewer to see where we wanted to look at just using focus uh excellent little tool fantastic uh uh, ways to you can control the depth of field in a very artistic way or very realistic way it's completely up to you how and if you know how depth of field works so um, this is a fantastic fantastic little tool so let's go ahead and check out a few more examples and um, let's go ahead and bring this animation up this is the one we just animated like so so again we stay in focus fully rendered just look at that and we stay in focus on the raptor always very nice now let's move on to another example in this one we're focused here first on the on the on the big t-rex but as soon as he looks we keep focus on the uh, uh ships let's play it one more time here on the ships on the spaceship first on the t-rex and as he looks around we change focus to the ships and the T-Rex goes out of focus. So very cool tool to guide the viewer's eye. Here's another action where it's in focus in this area. And you know, it just wants you to keep interested and then the camera pulls back and they're both in focus and ready to attack each other. So uh, very useful tool uh, and very, <laughs> very artistic and uh, you just gotta love it. So let's go ahead and conclude our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care, and good night.